New at 5, warnings of a critical shortage of air traffic controllers here and around the nation that could trigger some widespread flight delays. Channel 2's Tom Regan found it has gotten to the point where many are now working six days a week. Here at the Terminal Radar Approach Center in Peachtree City, air traffic controllers can handle up to 15 jets at a time. It is a stressful job, made even more demanding, because they're now working six-day weeks. We're reaching a, a critical situation, number one, because of fatigue. Michael Ryan, a union rep and veteran air traffic controller, told me he and his colleagues are in a desperate situation. Nationwide, the number of air traffic controllers is at the lowest level it's been in 27 years. At Atlanta's radar hub, they have 74 controllers, 27 more are needed. Six-day weeks are now mandatory, and 18 controllers are eligible to retire. And with the retirements and transfers that are pending, we may run out of bodies, may not have enough bodies to staff the positions necessary to keep the airspace moving. The FAA says it shares the frustration of controllers. The agency says the government shut down years ago, along with budget cuts, closed the Controller Training Academy, clogging the pipeline for new hires. But the union says if more controllers aren't brought on board soon, expect widespread flight delays something passengers told me are already bad enough. Airlines already don't have a good reputation on taking off on time, so uh, it could only be worse, right? I feel like they should actually hire more air traffic controllers if it's going to cause a delay. <laughs> yeah, it's it important. Now, we can't have that with the holidays coming. That was Channel 2's Tom Regan. And the union representative gave us his strategy for hiring more traffic controllers quickly. You can hear the salary that they make, and you're going to want to sign up. More on that coming up on Channel 2 Action News at